Let me know if you can hear it and all that shit too when it starts. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 One Piece moments that made our eyes bulge out of our heads. Number 10, Brooke and Laboon's connection. Mm -hmm. When the Straw Hat crew going. meets Brooke, a goofy living skeleton with an afro, they don't know what to make of him. However, despite his outward silliness, he soon earns their respect, particularly after they learn of his goal. 50 years ago, he and his late crew left behind a friend of theirs. Brooke wants to return someday to let their friend know he didn't abandon them. Mm. What blows the Straw Hat's minds and the audience's is that his friend is a whale and one that they've met before. The idea that Laboon, gotcha. whom the Straw Hat's met hundreds of episodes prior, would end up being so important is just one example of the amazing interconnectedness of the One Piece world. Number 9, Sorry. Not So Empty Throne. Fans are given a pretty good understanding of how the world government of the One Piece world works. The world nobles rule, with the five elders acting as the main decision makers. Meanwhile, the member nation's monarchs all convene at a summit called the Levely, or the Reverie, once every few years. However, in the most recent summit, we're introduced to a symbolic empty throne. This symbol ostensibly indicates that no one rules the world. But soon after its introduction, we learn that the throne does have an occupant. The five elders, who should be the highest of the high, instead bow to a mysterious person okay. named this Imu, a, who sits atop the, the throne. The fan base the and theory the crafters basically okay. exploded after this revelation. Yeah, I can't hear you. Too. Really like so that. The video's playing. Number eight, Blackbeard's you. ultimate show. Marshall D. Teach, better known as Blackbeard, yeah. is always a wild card. After showing up at the Marineford War and killing his former captain Whitebeard, Teach decides to show the world something it's never seen before. <laughs> After doing something yet to be revealed to Whitebeard's dead body, Teach reveals that he has somehow acquired the earthquake powers of his ex-captain. Not only are his new abilities literally earth-shaking, but Blackbeard also manages to do what no other character has done before. Possess the powers of two devil fruits. Until this point, fans had been told that anyone who eats two of them will die. But somehow Blackbeard managed to upset the natural order and leave all our jaws on the floor. <laughs> Number 7, CP9 Revealed Upon the Straw Hat's arrival at Water 7, Robin is approached by a masked person from CP9, a secret government agency. These masked individuals and a blackmailed Robin then attack Iceberg the town's mayor and head shipwright. They seek the blueprints to an ancient weapon, Pluton, which Iceberg once had in his possession. When Iceberg comes face to face with the assassins, a familiar bird lands on the shoulder of one of them. Mother, 
he and the audience realize as the spies remove their masks that they're actually Luchi, Kaku, Khalifa, and Bluno, most of whom have worked for Iceberg for years. Like a ship encountering his namesake in the fog, Iceberg never saw it coming, and neither did we. So, number six, Raizo mm -hmm. is safe. Oh. Okay. 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 The island, uh, elephant of Zo is ravaged by the beast pirates and its people, well, minks, subjected to torture and poison gas attacks. Their attackers are in search of a Wano ninja named Raizo, who's supposedly there, but the minks are adamant that he isn't. Because of how much they endured, the Straw Hats are reluctant to bring up their Wano samurai friends. That is until Kinemon and company blunder in asking about Raizo. Yet, we and the Straw Hats are flabbergasted when the Minx inform them that Raizo is safe. The sheer dedication and friendship in suffering what they have for one friend is incredibly moving and surprising. Number 5, Ace's father. Mm. That was a huge deal. The Marine Ford War delivers bombshell after bombshell, and it all kicks off with a whopper. Luffy's brother, Port Gasty Ace, is said to be executed. Sure, Ace is high up in Whitebeard's crew, but there's a deeper significance to executing him specifically. Yeah. Atop the top of the execution platform, Fleet Admiral Sengoku urges Ace to declare the truth. And fans were sure that this is when Ace and Luffy's father, Dragon, would get a name drop. Except Sengoku drops a nuke. Ace's father is actually the late Pirate King, Gold Roger. My This revelation had fans re-examining everything about not only Luffy and Ace's relationship, yeah. but also struggling to comprehend that the protagonist's elder brother was the child of the most famous pirates in One Piece history. <laughs> Number four, Shanks stops the war. <laughs> Marine Ford is crazy from start to finish, and this is how it ends. Pirates and Marines alike are engaged in meaningless conflict, and when brave young Kobe steps in to put a stop to things, it looks like he's about to die. Except the last person fans expected to get involved arrives at the last minute to save him, Shanks. <laughs> Luffy's mentor and one of the four emperors rolls up with his crew and challenges everyone there to a fight if they still want to battle. And nobody wants to mess with him. The shock of one of the series' most enigmatic figures showing up out of the blue <laughs> is matched only by the flex he pulls in making a war blink first. <laughs> Number three, the Straw Hats are separated. For most of One Piece, each story arc follows a similar structure. The Straw Hats come to a new island, have an adventure, beat up a bad guy, then go on to the next island. But when they arrive at the Sabadi Archipelago, Ago, they bite off more than they can chew. They're faced with several strong foes that they can't defeat. And into the mix comes the warlord, Bartholomew Kuma. <laughs> the titanic, soft-spoken man slaps Zoro, making him seemingly vanish. One by one, each member of the crew is sent away using Kuma's yeah. powers, leaving only Luffy, distraught and beating his fists yeah, against this the ground. So crazy. Luffy's horror and anguish mirror our own, as this left everyone completely shook. <laughs> Number two, Ace's death. 
I'm gonna tell you what I think should be number one after because I don't think they're gonna choose it. Following Luffy's rescue of Ace, the hot blooded young pirate, Ace, not Luffy, is goaded into fighting by the ruthless Admiral Akainu. Overwhelmed in battle, Ace steps in to save his brother when Akainu makes a move for Luffy, taking the blow and receiving a mortal wound. Luffy's complete breakdown is all of us in this moment. The loss of a beloved character is shocking enough, but this death completely changed the aforementioned rule, raising the stakes for the rest of the story. <laughs> Number one, Gear Fifth. Okay, that makes sense. That's fair. Basic One Piece lore, Luffy ate the gum gum fruits, so he has rubber powers. Wow, Except nice. 1,000 yeah, that's, that's plus a good episodes pick. in, we learn that it's not quite the case. After a near-death experience, Luffy's fruit awakens, and we learn that it's actually based on the fictional sun god, Mika. It's less rubber and more rubber hose animation. <laughs> The peak of Luffy's powers let him bend the laws of physics in cartoony ways that are both ridiculous and ridiculously powerful. This revelation had absolutely everyone's eyes popping out of their heads and our brains struggling to keep up. That is when we went busting a gut laughing. <laughs> Which One Piece moment had you cartoonishly? Boom. Uh, off of off of the the top ten that you seen, what you uh what you think about it, and what's the honorable mention you'll throw in? Cause like they had they had one moment on there they didn't put in. I feel like they really dropped the ball on. Uh, I, mean, I thought Golden Mary was gonna be in there. It wasn't. I was actually surprised. That was gonna be their top one or top two, and it wasn't. So they dropped the ball on that. It should have been in the top. It should have been mentioned. For sure. Um, Luffy meets Blackbeard. That's a big one for me. Okay, not mad at that. That's probably my, that's probably one of my top three moments in the series. Luffy meeting Blackbeard. So for me, that's a big one. For sure, I'm not mad at that. Um, for me, and it's crazy because they they touched on part of it. They touched on like I don't want to say the first half, but they touched on a third of it. Um, when they brought up the the Rizo is safe moment, I was like, okay, that's yeah. that's dope. That was a good moment. For sure, for sure, top ten worthy. I'm not mad at that being there at all. Uh, I forgot what number six was. Number six may have been that. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a good moment. But one that they missed out on for sure to me. I feel like unquestionably, they definitely should have had the moment where we find out that um, I can't think of bro name. The uh the pain in samurai, is is a double agent. And he and he not on our side. He backstabbed Oda and, and all of Odin. I mean, yeah, he backstabbed Odin and uh, all of Wano. Uh, mm. I feel like just that moment in general that, oh, shit, we were we were deceived for, for 20 years. And this nigga's been, like, living alive for 20 years. And we were wondering who the snitch was, like, halfway through Wano, the second half of Wano. Even people, people throwing salt on uh, Law's name, saying he's the rat. I'm like, no, nah, it can't be. That moment was monumental to me. Watching this nigga like just do a whole 180 and then out of nowhere just starts drawing fucking beautiful characters, beautiful drawings, exquisite. When he was the whole reason Kenny Mon couldn't even get up to Zoe in the first place, they dropped the ball on that. That that definitely should have cracked the top 10. I think destroying Lucy is a top 10 moment. I do, I do think that because One Piece, we, we don't we don't know One Piece for like killing and destroying. Like we have the Buster Call, but we didn't really get to see the full, the full like what that what that means. But with Lucia, we just nuked the place. Like yeah. that's big in any anime. Nah, yeah, that's facts. You, 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 you spitting on that one. Um, but yeah, hey, I think Mojo did a decent job. If I were to rate the list, wow, I give it like an eight maybe. Uh, I, I think they hit it out the park with they number one pick. I, I, they, they got that right for sure. I, so I'll give them an eight. Um, but yeah, 
if y'all uh fuck with this video want us to we should when we get a time when we get time we should do a top 10 anime i mean one piece episode the top 10 one piece episodes of yeah. all time that's we should do that i like that i like that that's gonna take a lot of thought that's i'm i'm gonna have to yeah. really get in my bag for that one because fuck they got some, we got some heat i ain't a lot of i feel like me and you i feel like me and you agree on what the one is if not at least we got it like one or two you want to talk the greatest episode yeah what you think the greatest episode is um 10 17 or what is it 11 17? Nah, 10 15 we, 10. you're right it's we we thinking the same thing okay yeah, it's yeah, 10 yeah. 15 yeah, yeah that was 10, yeah 10 10's across the board for that whole episode like directing animation dialogue yeah. They they killed that. They and it wasn't even no fighting in that episode. That was that was yeah. That was monumental to me. Um, yeah. So yeah, we can we can definitely do that. Uh, shit, that might that might be something we just run no, on. No, no, there was fighting in the episode. The episode ended off with the with the red rock. Oh, you're right with, with the Kyle. punch. Yeah, you're but right. there was no actually like, it wasn't actual battle. They just you for know, sure. did that for sure. Word. What an exclamation point to put on it. Yeah, nah, yeah, I love that episode. Yeah, that's for sure my favorite episode. Uh, but yeah, that might just be do something we want to run on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, if y'all like this video, let us know in the comment section if you want us to react to some more Mojo uh, reactions. They got a bunch of One Piece lists. I'm always down to check them all out. Till next time, peace. Yes,